Here I am, wobbling on a ferry on the Baltic Sea, traveling from Holland to Sweden. How did I end up in this spot? Two months ago, I didn't even know I would hike through Finland, and now it feels, since I left a humongous amount of steps here, as if the archipelago and I are in the beginning of a relationship. It all started when we digitally met with James, a Scot who works for Visit Pargas and who is the project manager of the St. Olaf Waterway. As being a part of Nordic Pilgrim, I'm aware of the routes in Sweden and Norway, but Finland's trail is still fresh, and James' enthusiasm made me curious. I wanted to walk that way. In September I traveled to Helsinki and took a train to Turku. This lovely town is the start of the St. Olaf Waterway. It's bubbly, relaxed, and last but not least, it has the big cathedral. I never really trained for a long distance pilgrimage. I'm not even religious. Am I allowed to be here? I do want to get to know Olaf a bit better. He is, after all, the main attraction. Trondheim. Right now I'm walking towards my first ferry, which leaves for Ensor Island. And that means I'm leaving the mainland and entering all the islands. I'm really looking forward to that because that is the treat of this hike pilgrimage.
Who was Olaf? Olaf Haraldsson was born in Norway in the end of the first millennium in 959. When he was young he took part in Viking expeditions in the Baltic Sea area, Great Britain and in the north of France. And there, in Normandy, he met Christians. And it didn't took long until Olaf was baptized into Christianity. When he was 20 years old, he became king of Norway. He wanted to unite Norway and make it a Christian country, of course, but due to his strong grip and strict rules, it led to discontent and enemies among the people. And in 1028, he was forced to flee the country. Olaf traveled east and stayed there for a year. He meant to return to power in Norway, but the trip to Norway ended to be his last. Olaf died on the 29th of July in 1030 in the Battle of Stiklestad, north of Nidaros, Trondheim. Olaf is buried close to the site where the Nidaros Cathedral later was rebuilt. After Olaf's death, special occurrences that were seen as miracles took place in Nidaros. Olaf became a sacred man and even his prior enemies acknowledged him as a saint in 1031. Thereafter, Saint Olaf or Olaf the Holy was one of the most important medieval Nordic saints and the Olaf cult was something that the Nordic countries had in common during the Middle Ages. There are several St. Olaf's churches in Finland and Åland, including ones in Nagu, Jumla and Nytonga. <laughs> I hope I pronounce it right.
Olive Waterway, the only pilgrim's path with sea views and saunas every day. May sound like a day in the park, but don't underestimate the average of 20 kilometers a day for at least 10 days in a row. If you're fit, then it's a picnic. But if you're more like me, then you might enjoy a resting day once in a while. But lucky you, the islands are perfect for that. You can embrace the silence and explore landscapes shaped by wind and sea. I've got the sense as if the last two weeks were scrunched into three days. That must be because of the mellow vibes and excitements the islands gave me. To be honest, I didn't know what to expect from a pilgrimage. People I know and who did it before were very excited I was going to do it, and it made me curious. Why are they so eager about such a journey? Will I finally find my inner peace? Will it be a life-changing, transformational experience? Even now, I can't really explain what it did for me, except for it moved me. For two weeks, I devoted my time purely to the present. There were no worries, no thoughts. There were only the footsteps I left on the road. It was a solitary journey, but I was open to anyone I met. My pilgrimage showed me how many strong women are out there. It taught me how to be in the present, and it gave me room to breathe. All essential things to me, which I marked by taking pictures and notes. In a way, it is special I'm now part of an historical trail where thousands of medieval pilgrims have walked and sailed long before me. <laughs> 